only about 14 people in the world have this Fortnite item. And today I finally found someone who has it. Because today I asked you guys to send me your rarest Fortnite loadouts. And some people had some insane lockers. All right, Sharice, played since day one, only a light flex. OG skin, the first birthday uh, spray. So we also have the Black Widow emote, which the, there's actually two versions of Black Widow in Fortnite. And the first one that came out actually has not come back to the game for like years. OG skins, some sprays, five out of 10. Okay, I got the Minty Pig Ass Disco Ball Spray from Walmart and Muse Elk Banner. So Muse Elk has a banner. If you did not know, PewDiePie also has a banner because in Save the World, there was like this event with content creators and they had their own banners you could unlock. Uh, I'm gonna give this one a 7.8. It's not very good compared to the rest of the submissions. I'll be the judge of that, one out of 10. You were right. No, I'm kidding. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This guy has a rare banner, okay? So here's what happened. There was these three streamers, Panda Beats, Hey Stan, and Rapaz. And they were each given 3,000 codes that they can give to their viewers. And apparently like Rapaz only gave out like a thousand of his before they expired. This is great uh, because it's it's very unique and we haven't, uh, haven't seen anybody submit with this uh, emblem. I'm gonna give this one a 6.8 out of 10. All right, Landon's exclusive Nintendo Switch skin. By the way, this dance right here could be rare because it was only an item shop for a day and I missed it. I'm pissed. And then he has the llama spray and this llama spray is, is actually kind of rare. You actually had to get it from one of the events. Now, some people take the codes and they give them out online, but to be fair, these are all 2018 events for the most part. Eh, I would say that's kind of rare. I don't, I don't think I have that. Move this one a 6.6 out of 10. All right, Kyle, Omega Knight with the purple lights. A lot of you guys missed out on the purple lights and I'm sorry, but I am not one of those people. I have the purple lights. The Founders Glider. Oh, but look at this. Okay, Fortnite's first birthday and the Walmart spray. But the real gem here is this one right here. This spray right here, I guarantee you not a lot of people have. So Fortnite actually had a solo showdown way back in the day. It was like the first competitive event. And if you ended up playing 50 full matches of solo showdown, which I didn't do and a lot of people did not do, you would unlock the solo showdown spray. And solo showdown was not in the game for a long time. Most streamers and content creators, didn't, they didn't even play it. I'm gonna give this a 7.8, closer to an eight. Jmar, he's got the Nintendo Switch exclusive skin. He also has the World Cup spray. This is another exclusive and this is the OG back bling they gave for free in chapter one season four he also does have the galaxy back wing decent amount of exclusives but nothing that is extremely crazy i'll say this is a solid six out of ten all right grimmy purple skull trooper and the full cypher bk loadout i gotta be honest man this is a 2.5 out of 10 but because of the cypher bk skins i'm gonna bump it up to a 3.5 this guy right here i don't know if this is legit but he's got brilliant bomber which by the way you were never supposed to be able to get this skin. Okay, let me give you the story here. Okay, so Fortnite was gonna do this annual subscription where you paid $80 and you got all four battle passes as well as some V-Bucks, I think, and some other rewards, but they never actually went through with that. And eventually they released the crew pack subscription instead. They were planning to give away Brilliant Bomber as a bonus for buying the annual subscription. And they never did, but people used a Discord bot that would hack into the Fortnite API and they could make that purchase. A lot of people who did this actually got banned and the skin was removed, but this guy has it. Oh my God. He's got Wildcat, the Nintendo Switch exclusive, Wonder, another exclusive, Aerial Assault Trooper, Galaxy skin, Double Helix, the Nintendo Switch exclusives, full gold Agent Peely, which you had to get a really high level in chapter two, season two, which I definitely have full gold Agent Peely, right? Yeah, I got it. What? What? How much did you have to play? You had to get level 350? Dude, all I played was Fortnite. I don't even have that. That's, this guy's nuts. This is going to be a solid nine out of 10. Now, you might be wondering, well, how do you get higher than a nine? You're going to have to see, because there are, there are some that will be rated higher than a nine. Hey, this is a flex. This is a flex right here. Okay, so listen, we got the OG dark knight but this pickaxe right here is crazy this right here the fncs axe of champions no one has this unless they have recently won an fncs you actually lose this pickaxe once the new season starts so you can only have it while you're currently a champion when there's a new champion crowned the pickaxe is removed from your account and given to someone else 
there's only 14 people in the world who have the champion's pickaxe this is a solid 8.8 .8 or 8.9 out of 10. okay this one's interesting nvidia did a collaboration where you got like the green mr fresh asian skin if you bought a nvidia graphics card which costs like a thousand dollars the thing is they released the skin in the item shop because i have the skin but as you can see my skin is green this guy's skin is red and black and that's because what they did to compensate the og owners who actually bought a graphics card to get this skin is they gave them a black and red edit style and honestly i'm kind of jealous i mean there's some og dances as well so i'll give it i'll give it a 5.3 5.3 out of 10. this is what i feel like is my rarest loadout all right let's see angel world cup skin the free back bling oh okay okay so here's the thing this pickaxe right here this pickaxe was during the first reboot of friend event and you had to get to like 400 points to get this pickaxe I don't have it because I didn't do the Reboot of Friend event back then. Definitely a lot of people did not do it. And if they did, they didn't do it as much as this guy did. So this carrot pickaxe is extremely rare. Mr. Beast Glider, only 100,000 people in the world have it. So apparently this is one of the rarest music tracks in the game. It was in the item shop for one day during Four Nightmares 2020. I, I, I gotta know, do I have it? Please tell me I have it. Come on! I don't have it. Okay, this is a solid, solid, solid loadout with some unique stuff we haven't seen in the other loadouts so far. I'm gonna give this one a a, a good 8.7 out of 10. Okay, we got something here. Own every wrap in game. Some of the rarest emoticons and sprays, some expired and a thousand dollars to $5,000 backlink. What the hell? Okay, honor guard. I don't even know what these two are. I've never seen him before. Some rare emoticons, some OG, some exclusive wraps. He has every single wrap. Flimsy flail pickaxe. Item shop pickaxe only seen two times and last seen 1,451 days ago. I got to see if I have it. Come on, baby. Come on. Yes. Yeah, dude. I'm like justifying all the, the 20 plus thousand dollars I've spent on V-Bucks in the past five years. God dang, this is so flex. Have we given a nine yet? This is the, the best one I've seen, right? Oh my God. 9.4 out of 10. I'm one of the top 15 in the world for the rarest emoticon. Cameo needs loot. You had to win some sort of photography art contest. Only 15 people have this emoticon. That's going to be a 9.3. This person has the Vanos emblem. Like I really wonder how many people have like the Vanos, the Muselk, and the PewDiePie emblem and still play to this day. The emblem itself carries this like obviously super rare super rare super rare but the emblem itself carries this uh an 8.5 or 8.6 no way this is now banned this is the rarest legit locker i've had now banned so brilliant bomber which like i said this skin was never supposed to be released people who got this skin got banned i think that's why this guy got might have got banned and then this emblem is this edited because this means this person played in the beta during the years of 2011 2016 for fortnite save the world you actually got an emblem and it, and it leveled up. It starts like this and it fully maxed out, looks like this. And he has it like halfway. If that's real, I, I, this is the first time we've seen this. This is the first time we've seen this. If this is real, this is a 9.6. 2011, 2016, no one knew what Fortnite was, bro. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know if you wanna see a part two.